Hello and welcome. This is Nick, aka the Nocturnal Rambler, back with another Let's Play series. This time it's that popular ring game by From Software that everyone's been talking about lately. Now, I don't know a whole lot about it. I haven't played it, obviously, um, but I've been deliberately avoiding all media coverage on it so that I can go in completely blind without any sort of uh, preconceived expectations or opinions based on hearing other reviews or seeing a bunch of preview footage. So this is basically going to be a complete blind playthrough. I really don't know what to expect other than it's supposed to be really good. Like I said, I've been trying to avoid any sort of news about it, but it's kind of hard to avoid hearing just general praise for the game. Because it has been hyped for, I guess, a couple of years now at this point as being a really good game, so I'm hoping it'll be really good, and uh, I'm eager to get in and give it a shot. So, without further ado, let me hit new game here, and we'll start with what I presume will be the opening cutscenes. That night... Kane Morgan was lost All in right, the dreams so of his childhood. We're jumping right in. He saw the charred remains of his home. He saw himself standing alone amid the wreckage. His mother and father were nowhere to be found. Kane was very young at the time. Wait, who's so Kane? So young that he didn't really understand that he lived in a country known as Solcia, and that the neighboring country, Aldine, had suddenly become a cruel, aggressive invader. There was one other thing. They had all left for the island. That was all he was able to remember. Hungaria was the largest country in the western continent. The elders, who at the time were the acting uh. rulers, had abruptly dispatched a group of knights to a place known as the Island of No Return. Okay, so I guess we're getting the a whole lot of backstory a man here. Called Ian, who was known for his fairness and moderate manner, inquired with the elders as to the meaning of such a dispatch, but the elders didn't bother to reply. Gillian Morgan, the loyal leader of the king's retinue, I think that's was concerned Gillian. About so he decided he would learn for himself what the elders were up to. He had but one piece of evidence to guide him. It was a vague utterance made by one of the elders. Somewhere on the island of no return was a ring imbued with eternal Perhaps power. an Elden Ring? It was not a time for indecision. Gillian proposed to the king that his own son, Cain, should journey to this island. A few days later, before daybreak, a small boat departed from the port of Hungaria. It was a boat secretly obtained by Gilliam for one purpose only, to carry his son, Cain, holding in his hand a sealed scroll from King Ian to the Island of No Return. The Island of No Return, that sounds promising. Okay. Uh, that's uh. I'm <laughs> somewhat speechless. It's, uh, these graphics do not look uh do not look so great. Ominous cave on the island of no return. I gotta be going now. Man, that guy sounds like he's falling asleep. Thanks for the lift. And this guy has no emotion. If you're gonna deliver that ladder, you'd be a lot better off doing it before night. I'm gonna deliver that ladder. You bet I will. We fishermen usually steer clear of this island. Uh, gotta be hard working for the king, huh? Best of luck to you. Hey. 
be careful out there. This is exciting. Oh wait, there's a dragon. Okay, maybe it is exciting. Yeah, I gotcha. Wow. So I guess the pandemic must have hit FromSoft pretty hard then, if that's the uh, quality of the graphics and voice acting and animations they're going with. But uh, you know what, that's, that stuff's not important. The gameplay is what matters, so I will, I will press onward and reserve judgment for later. Oh, save data, okay. Whoop, number one, we'll save here. Alright, so, interestingly enough, they did not give me a character creator. I, I guess I'm playing as this guy, Kane. So maybe that's a good thing, if they're taking a stronger focus on the narrative this time around, with, like, an actual story, instead of doing their usual cryptic nonsense that is, like, impossible to understand without consulting a guide and doing extensive deep dive research into everything. That's, that might be good. Let's see. I'm assuming this thing is going to attack me. Oh. Oh, God. I got him. Piece of cake. Golden grass. I presume that will heal me. Recovers a small amount of HP. King Scroll. I read this? I guess not. Um... Cap oh, Kane Morgan. I thought this said Captain Morgan for a second. Um... I guess those are a bunch of elemental stats, and then... 30 damage? Look at the controls, because these are really bizarre. Up and right sticks of analog controllers will not be used. Okay, let's try that. Okay, this make this makes a little more sense to me. This way the D-pad is exclusively for movement, and then the shoulder buttons look up, down, and left and right. Maybe they're going for, like, a, a deliberate retro throwback type of thing, like, oh, you know, like, uh, old school games that are, the 8-bit, uh, pixel games are kind of popular as a retro thing, and then you've got this sort of, like, early, uh, PlayStation and N64 eras coming back as, like, a popular thing. And I know they did some... FromSoft has been around for a long time. Like, they did a crap ton of games back in the late 90s, early 2000s. So maybe they're deliberately going for something like that. The Hagen's Thorn recovers poison. Good to know. This gem. Swattery gem. I don't know what that does. Yeah, the controls definitely take some getting used to here. It's not bad, it's not bad. I just have to channel my... ten-year-old self. Oh okay. god. Look up. I keep wanting to push these the other way, so... Feather jam. I keep wanting... I keep wanting L2 to be looked down. It doesn't quite do what I expect it's going to do. It doesn't feel totally natural. I 
I guess obviously I haven't commented yet, it's first person too, which is a little different. That's more than a little different. The, the previous games were uh, all uh, third person only. But like, I'm actually, I'm starting to get like Kingsfield vibes from this. That was a game series they did. I don't remember how, how many game series they did before Demon Souls, but they did Kingsfield. And those are kind of like this, where it's like a first person kind of underground dungeon crawler thing. I only played the fourth one, The Ancient City. I, I remember liking that game, but it was pretty slow, and this is pretty slow too, so that's kind of why I'm wondering if that's, this is supposed to be a deliberate like retro throwback to the, the classic era of their catalog. And uh, I don't know if you can swim in this game or not, because in, in the Souls games, you would just sink straight down and die. Like, there's not even any buoyancy when you go in the water. So I may not even try to test that. Magic Stone. It covers a small amount of MP. So far, I don't have any use for MP that I'm aware of. Because, like, X, or sorry, square is supposed to be from magic, and I don't have any magic spells that I'm aware of. I don't know if that guy's going to attack or not. Oh, and this is a dead end. Okay, you stay over there. Don't come bother me. I'm trying to explore. So, I have a feeling I might die if I go in the water. Let me just backtrack a little bit and check some of these other pathways that I might have missed. gems that I have seemingly no use for. This plant is slightly animated. I wonder if that's a monster of some sort. Guys are like Lovecraftian, like uh, deep ones. The sound effects they make this sounds so familiar, but I can't place my can't place where they would be from. What I would think that they would be from kind of sounds like a dinosaur from like oh well, maybe Torok or something, but. Never played the Turok games. Oh, okay, so there's there's that bridge. What? I guess I'm going to Oh, hello. I'm I'm in a place now. It's like a village. Well, that's exciting. I can't quite squeeze behind there. See, who are you? Oh god, look left. There we go. Can't talk to him. Can't talk to him either, man. No one wants to talk to me right now. Feeling ostracized. Hmm. 
No. Mm. Go away. Go Don't away. come near me. All right. I don't know if he's sleeping or dying, so I'll just leave him be. What's in here? Oh, here's a person. Oh, you're from the mainland. We've been expecting you. I'm Evans. Let me take that letter from you. Acting Assistant Captain Evans. says here to add you as a member of our team. Oh boy, this means we'll need the captain's approval. But he's always asleep. What can we do? Oh, is that the captain I was bothering <laughs> just a second ago? I guess we just can't send you back. It's direct orders from the king. There's nothing we can do. Okay, let me take your sword. I'll what? put it in safekeeping as part of the team's inventory. Why are you taking my sword? It's my property. Please get a replacement from Wallace at the warehouse. He's in charge of supplies. You gonna give me a equivalent or better one? This is a weapon request for him. Please go to the warehouse and give it to Wallace. We're investigating the remains of the shrine next to this area. Half of it is underwater, so we're not sure what's in the deeper areas. It would be great if we could move the water gate inside the shrine. There's a control panel of some sort, but it seems broken. It doesn't respond at all. The previous assistant captain passed away the other day. Our numbers have been decreasing. You be careful. The investigation is on hold for now. We gotta wait until we get further orders. The investigation is on hold for okay. now. So I don't have a sword anymore. That was a captain who was sleeping, I guess. If, if this is the captain. I get even less dialogue now. Okay. So that was you, huh? <laughs> I was expecting more than just a young boy for being the king's favorite. Hey, you don't look much more than a young lad yourself. There's a shrine up ahead. Our objective is to go inside and investigate. Well, we're on hold right but now. The deeper area is submerged in water, so there's no way to perform a real survey. If only we could find a way to open the water gate. Perhaps someone such as yourself will be able to figure it out. Heard there's a control panel somewhere. Did you see that grave over there? There were more people here before, but now they're all buried. We've lost contact with the team that went to the other side. What's in that place anyway? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, I can't open these. Barn. I don't know. It don't look like a warehouse to me, but maybe it is. So, you're the new guy from the mainland, right? That's me. Welcome to this miserable island. <laughs> yeah, I hear there's no return from this island. Oh. You done talking? So, you're the new guy. Whoops. What? Yeah? Whoops. The king wants you to retrieve the eternal power? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. 
I'm a nosy person. I won't tell the captain. Why don't you visit the shrine? There might be something of interest there, but that's only if you can open the water gate. Hey, how are you doing? I'm defenseless without a sword. What is it? I'm no sleepy. <laughs> Talk to me later. I'm sleepy. Okay. That's fine. Building with a water wheel. Maybe this will be a warehouse. I loot the fruit. I cannot. You're a person. You have dialogue. Excuse me. What are you doing? I, there we go. You're the new member. You're hurt. Wait here just a second. Oh. You gonna heal me? Okay. Wow. Done. Even restored my mana. I've heard about you from the assistant captain. You're from the mainland. I'm Marie Fallon. Marie. I'm the chief medic here. I'm pleased to meet you. Tell me right away if you get hurt. We have medicine available here. I don't have any money. Are you going to charge me for it? Oh, yes. Marcus is sleeping in that cabin in back over there. So please be quiet, okay? He was attacked by a monster when he was with the captain. And he's been in bed ever since. He's been sleeping. And he sometimes thrashes around. Like he's afraid of something. This happened once before. But that soldier suddenly disappeared. His injuries have healed, but he's still in pain. Gosh, I hope it's not some strange disease. Was she referring to the cabin that I was in previously, or mm. one behind here? Have you met the captain? He's at the small cabin, way in the back. I don't know if I should say this, but didn't you find something odd about him? Small cabin way in the back? Everybody else says he's upset because the research isn't producing any results. But he won't answer, even if I talk to him. And I'm kind of scared. Slowly turn, and slowly turn. I'm really not a military person. I heard about the island before, and I really wanted to come here. There's an old place ahead. It looks something like a shrine. There was a civilization on this island at one time. Now it's a nest of monsters. But I wonder what happened to the people who built it. Slowly turn. Slowly turn. Be careful. Okay. I'm just going to assume she's done. No more dialogue with Marie. I'm still uh, not having any luck finding a warehouse. Small cabin. Right. Can't open this door. Well, I guess that one would, uh... Some sort of access to the gear wheel. These are tombstones. I would not have guessed. I thought these were just boulders. Oh god, look up. Ah. I can have sword, please. What? 
Changed with knife warehouse. And this guy looks like he could be a captain. I'm pressing select and I'm not getting any uh, item usage, so I don't know. This looks like it would be related to the water shrine. Blue door. Good to know. There is a blue door there. Maybe that barn was the warehouse, and I just had to use the request form on the guy. Also, is it getting darker? Look up, there we go. God, I always get L2 and R2 reversed in terms of look up and look down. Right. Will you give me a thing if I press this item? Hmm? Give you a sword? Take your time, buddy. Here, how about this? By the way, I know that some rare gems can be found on this island. Ooh, yes, I'd like to know more. They'd be worth a lot of money back on the mainland. Not many people live here anymore. Resources are excessively abundant. Hey, you, do you need anything? Um, what? So, my gems are my money, I guess. I, s I trade gems for items. Small defensive sword. No characteristics or drawbacks. What do I have now? A knife. Didn't I have a small sword to begin with? I could have sworn I did like 30 damage before. Now I'm only doing 20. Do I have to buy back of stronger weapon? Why do they do this to me? And do these gems, three, four, five, what? I got six gems. Can I use those for any other purpose? Like, are they going to be used to infuse magic at some point? Did you find any gems? I have gems, but there's uh, not much I really want to buy from you except my sword back. All right. Nothing here, so let's see. See if this guy has any more dialogue now that I got my knife. You see, I'm pressing triangle and I'm not attacking. Do I have to equip it? There we go. The investigation is on oh, hold no. for now. The investigation is on hold for now. Are you still sleepy? I guess so. Can I go through this door? What do you want? I want to go through this door that you're guarding. Maybe not. Oh, he'll let me. Do I actually want to go through here, though? 
it's like inside. This takes me inside the shrine. I want to talk to this other guy first. Sleepy man. One more try. You got any more dialogue? I don't think so. Well, it really seems like it's getting dark out. I wonder if that's going to affect anything, or if I'm even seeing that correctly. Also, how do I save? And load. There was no save pedestal thingy. Oh. No save pedestal anywhere in the village. What if I die? Oh god. I don't want to have to replay these last however long it's been, 20-30 minutes. Ah, there we go. Speak of the devil. Let me save. Aha! Wonderful. Crabs! I see you. Oh god. I feel like this thing has much less range than my short sword. Hey, these crabs are a lot easier to fight than the ones in the uh, Souls games, though. Those ones in the Souls games are like... the incredible Hulk level of just smashing death. Poke, poke. Dang. So I, I've only got this one little pokey attack. I don't... I don't have the ability to do, like, side swipes or charge attacks or heavy attacks. It's a very primitive combat system here. You might even say it's minimalistic. Let me guess. This is going to be a red door. Yeah, I'm definitely doing less damage than I was doing before. Get back here. Why did they give, take my weapon away and give me an inferior one? That is frustrating. What? Did that one take four hits, or did I miscount? have enough gems to buy back a uh, small sword. I'm also starting to feel a little bit lost. As far as I can tell, there is no map, and... This little thing in the upper right does say second day, time of Earth, with what might be some semblance of a clock indicating that I'm approaching dusk. Maybe time does pass. There may possibly be some effect on where I can go and what I can do. Maybe the types of elements I can use to cast magic will be affected? Oh, hello. Oh, God. Damn it. Get him. Damn it. Son of a... 
Watery. It's not a water gem, it's a watery gem. Blue door. As this blue door leads into water. Got a bad feeling that there's gonna be a uh, like the control panel is gonna open doors of a certain color, and then I'm gonna have to remember where the certain colors were to know what doors to open to go to certain places. See, now this is, like, v oh God. vaguely in water. But it's not attacking me. Oh, God. I have a feeling this thing would poison me if it hits me. But I killed it. getting really anxious about some of those doors that I passed forever ago, because I'm like, I want to know where those other doors went. Here's a red door. Is there any chance that's this? Who are you? You're like a scholar researching a thing on the wall? And I say hello and get his attention somehow? Oh, I missed. The crab. Ooh. I opened the treasure trust. Yes, I can, and it's a rock. Which restores an MP, which does me no good. It's kind of lame. a save pedestal? Yes, it is. It's just in a very different sort of area. It's not in its own little chambered platform. Oh, God. Yep, I... Where did this guy come from? Scholar man is gone. Where did Scholar Man go to? Ooh, I have a ring, ring of power. Oh, it might be a spell. MP used Fireball. Most basic fire magic summons a small fireball. Fifteen... I guess that's fire, yeah, fire. Magic ring, fireball, and slot one, I guess. Is that how that works? What is Atra ring? Is that attribute? 15 fire. So, okay. Now I have a green bar above my health, which is a, I guess, a cooldown. I will spend two MP to cast Fireball 
with a little light green flashy thing being a short cooldown between casts. Maybe a stronger fireball or stronger spell would do even more damage at the cost of lower recharge. Affected by ice. Well, you know what? That worked. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I can't. I was seeing that ring sort of appear in the center of the screen. I was wondering if I could hold it. If I could hold the uh, magic button and then redirect where it is on screen, but it, it just materializes in the center of the screen and then goes. So I don't get to aim the spell. They just go straight in front of me. Ring of magic. Maybe that's an attribute ring. Base to make magic rings. Okay. See, now that's where I would wonder if, like, I can put gems on one of these rings to cause different spell effects. That would make sense. starting to feel deja vu. Glowing stone. I guess that's fire, huh? not going the direction I thought I was going, because I was intending to go back to the uh, save thing, and I got turned around somehow. problem with this is that everywhere oh okay now I'm on the other side of blue door you know every room and every wall looks the exact same and with these little uh like tulip venus flytrap looking things it makes a lot of them look very similar and it very much has that old school uh problem of trying to navigate like the old school wireframe dungeons in, like the 80s and the early 90s where everything just looks the same and it's impossible to know where you're going unless you're mapping everything out on graph paper which I am not doing right now so god help me if I get completely stuck and don't remember how to get back to a certain area and like, see this I, is gonna, I fear is gonna kill me. I have to lower the water level before I can go in there or something. God. Did I actually pick up a watery gem? I'm spamming the X button. Never saw the icon up here.
So wait, why why is my MP constantly at full? Like, have I been replenishing my MP when I pick up gems? Because if so, then I need to be using this a lot more often. As long as it's not like consuming the gem when I pick it up. Ow! Hit him! What are you doing? Six. I did not pay attention to what my MP was at before. But see, now I'm at a dead end, and I'm very concerned that I am going to have no idea how to backtrack to some of those other areas that I was in previously. Because every room, every door, every wall looks the same, and why is there a dude here? Like, shouldn't this guy have been... Didn't I kill everything in previous areas? This is 53. I am slightly concerned. God damn. Hit him. Concerned that there is respawn happening behind me. Because that's going to get old real fast if I'm stuck wandering around trying to figure out where I'm going and have these constant hassles to deal with. Oh, oh good. I interrupted him. That's good. Because you see, I'm not a huge fan of JRPGs, and I especially hate the uh, game mechanic of random encounters. God, why are there so many of these crabs here? I have very bad memories of playing, like, uh, what was it? Skies of Arcadia. Which is notoriously bad for having so many random encounters and you you go running around an environment just you get lost trying to figure out where to go where you haven't gone and it's like you just you walk two steps random encounter and then you spend 30 seconds fighting enemies walk two steps random encounter spend 30 seconds fighting enemies and you spend five or ten times as much time battling enemies in random encounters than you do, like, actually exploring the environments and looking for clues and figuring out where to go. And it just gets so damn tiring. And, like, now I'm pretty sure I've gone this way, but I don't remember exactly, and everything looks so similar. I, I remember this hallway. I think this spits me back out where the, uh... This is where Scholar Man was. I never remembered it to press this the first time I was here, so that's good I came back. Boy, I should have done that the first time. Get some water here. So now I gotta figure out how to backtrack to, uh... where that was. I'll probably do that. Probably people in the comments five or ten minutes ago saying, Why didn't you push the button on the wall that Scholar Man was? And I'm like, Yeah, 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 I just forgot. Still don't know where Scholar Man went. Yay. What a pain in the butt. At least I'm getting experience out of this. Gems that I can trade in for a better sword. Get my, my actual short sword back.
This is interesting. Is this, is the, this is the uh, third separate save point I have found in this dungeon. Takes me up to the blue door. Where is this going to take me? Oh no. Just deeper into this. <laughs> wonder if this is going to lead up to like a boss encounter. It's a pretty big door. Might be locked. Or not. It'll open and I'll go through it. And I'll watch a cutscene. And Dark Link appears, and I have to fight a mirror image of myself. Or a creepy, uh, demonic eyed monster thing. I really wish I had gone and looked around the perimeter of this room first. Oh god, he's fast. Burn in hell! Yo, this guy is like really good at. Oh my god. <laughs> He's like an ice skater. Whoop! Nope. His dodge is so fast. Almost out of mana. How about I killed him? Flawless victory. Get wrecked, scrub. Alright, what was the point of all this? Ring of Insight. Borrows power from the earth to increase earned experience. Well, that sounds fun. What door did I come in through? Are they the same door? No, that one's like wood. This one's got more decorative. So I think I came through this door. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack just a moment to save. I'm also very glad that my MP replenished because I didn't want to have to use a consumable item to restore that. Oh, it's just golden flower. Oh wait, golden flower different from golden grass. Fair amount of HP. Yep, so I uh, would have been a little better off if I had come and gotten these items first, but, you know, turns out I didn't need them. Because I'm just that good. Which either means that I'm like just super battle hardened and experienced from playing Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, and Bloodborne. Or it means that From Software is deliberately easing back on their difficulty in order to make this game 
easier than the previous ones, presumably to give it more sort of mass market appeal. Which wouldn't be surprising, but, you know, it still kind of goes against the, uh, the grain of their formula. Hopefully there will be, like, a thing I can... an important console, a uh, control panel or something I can do to do something over here for the main quest. Well, that sure looks like a control panel. What is it gonna do, though? Nothing else in the area. Oh, it's a key. Some other type of item. Uh oh. Is this good or bad? The music makes it seem good. Talk faster. Eternity. That's how long it takes him to finish I a sentence. Don't even have the strength to talk. There is not much time left. Find her. Find Lila. Alright, so who's Lila? Why would I want to find her? What do I do with this key? blue doors. I can put it on the hot key. Okay. Well, I th think there might have been a blue door somewhere back in the village area. But at the very least, I think I can take a few shortcuts to get back. But yeah, that that dragony water dragon it was giving me strong uh, Peter Frampton vibes from Dark Souls 1 when Frantz just randomly appears in the uh, Firelink Shrine and he's all like, Hey man, what's up? And you're like, oh, well, who are you? What did you, why are you here? Like this random dragon head coming out of the ground, basically, in both of these games. Select to use item. I heard a click. It unlocked it, but I still have to press a button to open it. Damn crabs. Oh, 
Oh, hello. See, now I'm, like, really disoriented because I'm coming through a direction that I've not come through previously. I think these stairs... I remember coming down some stairs, so I probably need to go that way. You know, but if I were... If I were smarter and more observant than I am, I would have remembered there was like one or two other blue doors somewhere, I think, and I would have been able to go straight there and probably figure out, okay, this is where that other blue door was, so now I can backtrack and go here, and maybe there would be, you know, an extra treasure chest or something to reward me for going there, but I don't really remember where all that is, so... And I just winging it. Very fearful I'm getting lost now. I think maybe if I... My intention was... Or I thought if I went up those other stairs that I passed a little while ago, that would take me out of here, but... I wanted to poke around and see if I could just find... Oh. Never mind. This is the entrance. I wanted to see if I could find another blue door randomly, but because I'm here, I'm not going to bother, because I'll get lost as hell trying to find where those other blue doors were in this uh, shrine area, so screw that. should have bought my sword back before he died, unless I can take it off his corpse. Hey, she's still alive. That's good. Sleepy man is awake, but badly wounded. get over there. Why does he look like that? I mean, this looks kind of like the, um, there was a guy in a room. Little rats of the elders. Is that the best you can do? The eternal ring is mine. I'd like to point out that I did not press a button to cut off his last line. The game just truncated his last line there all by itself. But that dude looked like the dude who was not talking to me earlier. He was like in front of a desk or something. I can take his, uh, his little halberd, right? Nope. He's dead. Okay. How you doing, buddy? The monsters. Everybody's dead. Yeah, I can see That's that. That's the captain. Is this the power of the ring? I must get the ring. The eternal ring. Everyone keeps saying eternal ring. I thought it was elder or elden ring. It's like a typo or something. 
Damn it. How careless. Damn it. What? Damn. It. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. Hey, uh, warehouse man, give me my sword back. Hey, I got my sword back. That's amazing. Oh, I gotta, like, go to equipment. Unequip, uh... Yeah, it does a little bit more damage. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Like, nothing I can loot anywhere in here, is there? This guy died. Or at least we saw what appeared to be a lifeless corpse. He's dead, Jim. There's nothing else I can interact with in here. And there was a guy in here who was trying to sleep. I don't see him anymore. But he might be somewhere. Maybe. Right, there we go. Marie Fowler. I would like to be healed if you're feeling up to it. But if you can't, I will understand. No, the monsters. Oh, she died. <laughs> oh no. Well, that's a shame. my options. I, I can... I'm sure there was stuff back in the original cave that I came in through. There's stuff I missed there, but I'm assuming I'm supposed to go this way and go through this door to the left that the camera's panned over towards. Oh no. There's an event happening. I gotta fight the captain. I gotta fight a were-monkey. Squirrel monster. I'm not feeling as confident with this, so I will use some grass. Where, where do you think you're going? Oh god, he jumps over the fireball. at me, bro. Oh god, he hit me. The camera just like went berserk and auto... What is happening? I can't control the camera. Okay. That took forever to get out of that. I thought the game crashed or something. Oh no, more uh, gravel tombstones. I've been busy. All right, and we're just going to turn around and go right back to where I just was. Just a quick moment of grieving. Now this is where I think the captain was, and I can't go in this room. I can't go in this building. 
But here's a blue door, so that's presumably where I am supposed to go to advance the game. Use the key, and the door opens. Alright. I really hope this isn't a whole nother dungeon. I am not in the mood to play another dungeon right now. I'm going to save here. And I'm going to poke my head around. I'm just going to see what's going on. I'm probably going to be calling it quits here pretty soon. I'm playing a little while. I did not expect a teleport to happen. This is unexpected. Who are you? I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. Thou, who seek the long-forgotten power of magic, this is the vessel of knowledge and strength. Submit to me the gems, and I shall bestow upon thee a ring of great power. Gems and a glowing gem. It resets up. Pass down the knowledge of the ancients. Oh god, that's not what I expected to happen. I thought I was resetting the what I had put in. This is like it just confirmed it. Three waters and a fire. What happened? What did I do? Healing water. Turned my fire ring into a healing spell that I, I no longer have. Ring of insight. Yeah, 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 I got that. Oh, that's no good. I mean, it's it's good, but I want offense too. Oh, okay, I see. I hit, I did hit square to combine, but I thought I was pressing triangle to reset. I just completely pressed the wrong button. What, how do I, I have to do one on each side, I guess? I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. I don't know if the position matters. This doesn't give me offense though, I'm gonna be a little a little bit bummed out. Silence! I don't like the sound of that. Can I read what what it does? Um, yeah, I'm like, I think I'm just wasting gems right now. So, I need 
reload and try that again. Research team headquarters. Let's see if I can be a little smarter with the, these gems now that I kind of vaguely understand maybe what's happening. I don't want to get rid of my fireball. I shall pass down thou. This is the best. Submit to me. Go through the theatrics again. Magic ring, ring of magic. So uh, presumably, if I put a water and a fire, I can get um, the healing ring. I shall pass down the knowledge of the ancients. I did put them in different positions, so I don't know if that matters. Ice Needle. Whoa! I sh I, okay. Alright. So maybe... Okay, all right, all right. If I were to put a glowing gem... As I recall, I had glowing gem, water, water, and water, and that got me the heal spell, but... I don't know if it's just the total number of watery gems and one fire gem that did it, or if the actual position matters. But I would think that last time when I made the heal spell, it was like, it was four squares into the water tier, so maybe because I have four gems and the dominant one is water, I'll get a I heal spell out of this. The knowledge of the ancients. I just want to see what happens. This is way over here now. Slightly increases the water attribute. Decrease fire by one, but increase thing by 20. Wow. All right, well this is obviously a little more complicated than I thought it would be. Attribute ring, ring of insight, ring of rain. So now, oops. I have ice needle and fireball equipped. And then I select ring with circle, I guess, maybe to switch spells. So there's ice needle. A much slower recharge rate, I guess. Well, that's... That's somewhat interesting. I feel like this is the type of thing that needs a lot of... Maybe it doesn't need a lot of, but it's the type of thing that benefits heavily from... Looking up the guides online to see what combinations will do... What? Where? You know, what, what gems and what position and what ratio will give certain effects. That way you can get, like, the desired things you want instead of just randomly guessing like I'm doing. Oh my goodness. So this definitely looks like another dungeon, which I am not in the mood to deal with right now. 
So I'm going to load back to this save again. And I'll probably plan to call it quits here. And when I come back again... Oh, I just automatically teleport in. I thought I was had to click a thing to teleport. But I want to have a do a little bit of research and have a better idea of what I'm actually doing with these gems to get the right things. I do kind of want to have that healing spell again. That seemed kind of neat. But... Uh, yeah, otherwise, this, this seems like a pretty good spot to call it quits for this session. And uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about the game so far. I mean, it's a bit different from what I was expecting, and although I do kind of dig the retro throwback design of it all, it's not really what I was looking to play right now, and it's really not what I was expecting from the brand new FromSoft game that everyone was hyping up. So, I don't know, I may I may not actually continue with this playthrough, but um, I may move on to something else, but, you know, it's been interesting, to say the least. But uh, y'all, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this, otherwise I, I may move on to some other game. But uh, that'll be it for this one, so, once again, this has been Nick, a.k.a. the Nocturnal Rambler, signing off. Hey man, what's up? Yeah, I just finished playing a game for my YouTube channel. It's that new Elden Ring game. Nah, I'm, I'm really not digging it, man. It's That game sucks balls. I mean, the graphics look like crap and everything is so slow and clunky. It's like playing an old PS2 era game or something. Now, I really don't understand why everyone was so hyped about this POS. But we, we can talk about that later. You still down for game night? Oh, that's not good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, sure, but have you tried just pulling it? No, I mean like back and forth really fast. Look, it'll loosen up if you just coax it right. Well, you might try putting some lube on it or something. Like a snake through a tube. <sighs> Alright, well, give me another 15 minutes to get ready. Right. Yeah. You wish. I'll bring a sponge. Alright, I'll see you soon.